Let's train and compare YOLO V8 models using Kera CV and use weighted box fusion to produce unified predictions across all the models. Hey there, welcome to Learn Open CV. We are using the global wheat detection dataset from Kaggle. It is a diverse dataset with more than 3000 train images from France, UK, Switzerland and Canada and about 1000 test images from Australia, Japan and China. We'll compare how different YOLO V8 models will perform on this dataset and then we'll employ weighted box fusion on all the predictions and see if we get a better result. More on that later. Let's take this dataset to Google Colab and train a model. To follow along with me, open the blog post link from the description, then click on the download code banner, fill in your details and hit enter. You'll receive an email with the notebook link. Download it and let's get started. I have already covered a detailed tutorial on training YOLO V8 object detection models using Kera CV. Check that video before you continue this video. I'm going to breeze through most of the topics in this notebook. Begin by installing Kera CV, importing all the libraries and setting the seed values to reproduce the experiment. Then using request.get and zip file, we download and extract the wheat detection dataset. Here are the dataset and training configurations. We set the dataset parameters like classes, split ratio and augmentation values and set the training parameters like the backbone, number of epochs and a directory to save the logs. And then we read all the images and annotation paths and shuffle them. If these concepts are difficult to grasp, you should check out OpenCV University's free TensorFlow and Keras bootcamp. Go to opencv.org slash university slash free courses to know more. Next up, dataset preparation. We read the XML annotations file and extract the bounding box coordinates and class labels from it. And here is the function call. Then we convert the annotations and class labels to ragged tensors and create the TensorFlow dataset object with image paths, bounding box tensors and class ID tensors. Finally, we split the dataset. Next, we will pre-process our dataset starting with resizing the images. Load resize image loads the image and returns a resized image and the original image size. Similarly, the bounding box coordinates will also be resized. And finally, package the image and annotation data as a dictionary. For data augmentations, we are choosing random translation, hue and brightness, horizontal flip and jittered resize. Map the augmentations to the train set and create the dataset. Here are some of the dataset visualizations. And these are the augmented images. Next, we will prepare our YOLO V8 model for training. So define the backbone and load the detector. Here is the YOLO V8 model architecture. Next, define the callbacks. LR scheduler and the TensorFlow callback. And then define a metric to evaluate the training. We'll be monitoring MAP at the end of each epoch. Now choose an optimizer. We are going with Adam. And then compile the model with the optimizer and the loss function. Finally, fit the model. We have already trained three YOLO V8 models. And here are the visualizations. This is YOLO V8 small, YOLO V8 medium and YOLO V8 large model. And here are the MAP plots for all the three. Now that we have trained the models, we'll employ weighted box fusion to try to get better results. Check out this blog post to know more about weighted box fusion. Essentially, during model prediction, NMS suppresses lower confidence predictions and outputs only the best prediction. Whereas weighted box fusion averages between multiple model predictions and returns a more robust prediction. Here are some of the predictions using weighted box fusion. Although the confidence scores decrease for a few predictions, three more predictions are returned with weighted box fusion. I consider that as a win. So, that's all about comparing YOLO V8 models using Kera CV and applying weighted box fusion to the model. If you like this video, 
Why don't you check out semantic segmentation using Kera CV Deep Lab B3 Plus or other videos in the Kera CV playlist. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.